Jordan, let's go ahead and get into our last segment, and that is around college football. And I don't know if you know, Jordan, you probably know because everybody knows, but EA Sports has been busy uh, for a little bit now. Uh, One, they got this huge game coming out. I don't know if you've heard of it, but EA Sports College Football 25 is coming out on July 19th. Um, And it's probably one of, if not the most anticipated anticipated game in, in history of, you know, at least for EA, for sure. Um, you know, I'm not a big um, connoisseur of video games, but this this game's going to make a ton of money. Uh, oh, yeah. and it's got a ton of hype around it. And EA Sports is out here just poking college football fans. They're they riling up some feathers, they're, man. They're ruffling, up, they're ruffling up the feathers. They're riling up the fan bases. They're pitting, uh, you know, rival teams against each other with these lists that they are coming out with. So let's go ahead and quickly go through these lists and we'll get some, we'll get some thoughts uh, from you about this list. Okay. So first and foremost, we're going to start with the top 10 toughest places to play according to EA sports. Okay. Um, So I'm going to quickly rattle off these top 10 Clemson is omitted from this top 10. So if you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen this list already, I'm not about to say Clemson, okay? But we're going to talk about the teams that did make the top 10. Number one was Texas A&M. Number two, Alabama. Number three, LSU. Number four, Ohio State. Number five, Georgia. Number six, Penn State. Number seven, Wisconsin. Number eight, Oklahoma. Number nine, FSU. And number 10, Florida, to round out your top 10. Jordan, what are your thoughts about this top 10 toughest places to play? I, you know, I, I think that the, the, my first reaction when I when I saw that list was, you know, what was the criteria? Um, because and yeah. they they said it was a it was a mix of, you know, historical, you know, win loss record and and uh and I don't know, uh, crowd size and, and the, you know, they, they, they said it was this formula or in, and they, they had a, a criteria that they used, but none of it seemed to, to make sense. Um, and especially from a, you know, actual atmosphere standpoint, I, I just, I, I didn't understand it. You know, some of the placements on this list, uh, I mean, you know, from a Clemson standpoint, you know, the arguments are obvious, you know, Clemson's lost three games at home in the last 10 years. Yeah. I just, uh, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. And those three losses were by one point, one point and in overtime. So I, I'm just, I, I don't understand from that perspective. Clemson is documented as one of the loudest stadiums in all of college football. Like they like number two or number three on the all time decibel record. They rank like, number two on the all time yeah. decimal recorded yeah, like decimals yeah um, i'm sure there's a lot of claims out there for a lot of different stadiums but the recorded decimals i think it's oregon one clemson two yeah I, i'm with you I, I i just i didn't understand the i don't understand how if you're making a modern call ea you're making a modern college football game and you know not having clemson who's had one of the the best home field advantages in the sport you know, over the last decade, I, I just, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand what you're doing. Um, and I, I th- just, some of the placements were strange, like, you know, Kyle field. Okay. I mean, they're, they're honestly, their home record isn't that good, but they are allowed. It's it pretty is, bad. Actually, it's a, it's their, a, it's, their home record's pretty bad. Yeah. It's not, it's not great when you compare to the rest of the teams. And I think they've lost like 18 games at home. And since I think in the last 10 years, it's something like that. It's, it's yeah. way more than, uh, some of the other teams on this list, but I, but I understand that, you know, it's, it's not all about when luck because sometimes it's just your team isn't good, but it's still a right. tough, yeah. it's still a very tough place to play. But, and Clemson wasn't the only team that I felt got omitted. So I don't, I don't want, I don't want this to be a, you know, Clemson is, you know, the center of college football and everything. Cause there were teams that. Um, Tennessee that, wasn't top 10. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Neyland Stadium wasn't there. Neyland Stadium Jordan, wasn't top ten. Jordan, Hare, Jordan Hare for in, Jordan in Auburn Hare wasn't there. was not top ten. Yeah, like I, I, I'm just they like had Auburn. So 
12, 13, and 14 is Clemson, Tennessee, and Auburn. That's that's uh, disgusting. So that's disgusting, man. I, I just and I'm not even I'm not an SEC homer, so but I'm right. far from it. But I don't know how you have a top ten list without Neyland or Jordan Hare. And I, I, I think Clemson is right there in that conversation. Those uh, are like, like iconic like, venues. Like, uh, and I'm not even asking. I'm not even asking Clemson to be like top five, like number. Like I, no, I was like, no. how do you not? How do you? How does Clemson not even make the, the top ten? And then you have then you have like. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to say this and people are, you know, if uh, hopefully there are no Alabama fans watching, but Alabama's home field advantage is not all that special. Probably their home field advantage is because of their football team uh, and probably less to do with the environment. Yeah. Uh, again, you could say that for a lot of the good teams, but like, I mean, there's like, a few places you think of when you think of like absolutely crazy fan bases, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't know that Alabama deserved to be number two. Yeah. I'm not I, saying they I, don't I, have I, a great, extremely. a great I, atmosphere, but I don't know about Ohio two. state is the same. Oh, 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 Ohio state is the same. It's, it's not, that's not, like, I just, I don't, I don't know how you put Ohio state that high. What, what were they? Number, what were they? Number three. Where, where was Ohio State on that list? I mean, you're telling me that Ohio State has a better is a better is a tougher place to play than Auburn or no, Tennessee. It's not, and, I don't and think it's, so, man. it's like I felt I like they they, so. they only got placed there from a logo standpoint and a capacity standpoint because it's a huge Ohio, Ohio the shoe is a huge stadium. It's there, it, so it's like, but. The the um, the crowd and, and like the stadium itself is really really spread out. Like the the crowd isn't really that on top of the field. Like they're the sidelines right. are really large. There's there's just not on the field. It's not nearly as loud as you would expect a hundred thousand capacity you know stadium to sound like. Now they can get loud, and for, especially for the big game oh, when, yeah. when Michigan yeah. comes to town. So it's like. Ohio's not a. It, it, this is this is all like relative, like because like none of these atmospheres on this list are terrible, like by any means. Yeah. So like yeah. I, I want people to, I, I want to make that clear. Like these are like it's, re, but it's it's kind of a it's a relative thing. Yeah. Uh, but and again, everybody's gonna have differences of opinion. I'm on- surprised LSU wasn't number one, and you know I'm I'm one to be like yeah. Clemson's real Death Valley and all that. But oh, for sure, yeah. But, but from a <laughs> But just from a an atmosphere standpoint, there's I don't think there's yeah, anything better than LSU. Those so like, like, like LSU I is a don't fan know, base. Understand what they were thinking when they put this list together. LSU is a understand. fan base that you think of like those people are absolutely insane. They're crazy. They are right. insane. I've never been to LSU Stadium, but I don't think you got to go there to know that their fan base is like certifiable. They're nuts. Yeah. Uh, they're crazy people. Uh, yeah. So I could just imagine what that game day atmosphere is like. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm surprised they weren't number one. Um, you, you hear about the noise there all the time. Uh, you 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 know what that fan base is like. So, uh, but again, everybody's going to have problems with any time you do a list like this. No one's going to agree. Uh, people are going to get feelings hurt. But I think definitely Clemson is a top ten tough place to play in college football. You know, some people may call that bias, but um, that's just how I see it. I've been to several big time games at Clemson and. It is an absolute and insane environment uh, to be in. Um, But again, a lot of these schools have have claims to that and you can make arguments. But, you know, Clemson definitely has. The home record to go along with the game day environment they provide. Right. So it's two full with Clemson. I think it's an extremely loud stadium. Uh, You got the entrance of running down the hill. So you have the big game day atmosphere, and then you have your home record of you've only lost three games in, in a decade yeah. at home. That's huge. I you, I don't you, had a, like, you, say, you you had the longest home winning streak in in this century. Yeah. Like that's you 40 games in a row. Like this that's one of it's one of the longest home winning streaks of all time. Like I, I just I don't understand how you don't I don't understand how you get you, you don't even make the top crack the top ten and especially like and like Florida State like Doke like and 
I, I think Dope Campbell, you know, it used to be, I think like 10 years ago, I think it absolutely belonged in the top 10, but I, I think with, with some of the, the renovations and stuff and like, they've kind of like their capacity has dropped a little bit and, and obviously Florida state not being good though, you know, up until recently, um, yeah within like, you know, from, you know, 2017 through 2021, like that, I think that did a, a number like that. I, I just, they're not one of those fan bases that, you know, shows out and creates a, a crazy environment week in and week out. Um, and I, I think they, I think they, they belong in that, you know, discussion. Like, I, I think like I wouldn't have them outside like the top 15, but like over Clemson, like over Clemson, like I just, I, I don't I don't understand it. Um, I, I just but all right, we, we spent enough time on that. Well, I want to get to the listener. Uh, well, I want to get to the, the rest of the list and then we can and, and kind of get through the segment. So all right, but yeah, I, let's, I, um, just, like, what are what are we doing here, man? Yeah, um, I completely disagree with a lot of what the list had on it. But again, a lot of people do. So um, my opinion is Clemson should be top 10. But let's go ahead and move on with. Um, the list where Clemson probably got a little bit more love than I thought they would. Uh, but Clemson or EA sports, excuse me, not Clemson EA sports came out with a top 10 offenses and defenses. Right. Um, and Clemson was sitting at number 10 for offenses, shockingly enough uh, at a number 87 overall and number five defense at a 90 overall. Um, for the offenses, it was number one, Georgia, number two, Oregon, number three, Alabama, number four, Texas, number five, Ohio State, number six, LSU, number seven, Miami, number eight, Colorado, number nine, Missouri, and Clemson rounded out the top 10 in the offensive category. Jordan, what are your thoughts? Are you surprised by Clemson being in the top 10 of offenses? Um, we just got finished talking about their offenses. Um, so, are their offense um, in our buy sell segment? So, what were your thoughts on them making the top ten? Uh, oh, which uh, are we on the offense or the defense? Offense, yeah, the okay. offensive side yeah. of the ball. They were tenth in offense um, behind Missouri, Colorado. Colorado's another weird one that made it on the list. Uh, Miami, LSU, Ohio State, Texas, Alabama, Oregon, and Georgia. Those were your top four. Yeah. Um, I don't think Clemson deserves to be not, in the not top sure, nine. Sure. Yeah. Not even I, I, close. I, yeah. You know, compared to the last the last list, yeah, there's there's no reason to have Clemson in, in a top ten. Um, no. Just I, I, I think that was kind of the um, that, that was kind of the, the that was the funny part. Uh <laughs> Uh, of this whole thing, I was like, okay, yeah, Clemson doesn't have any business being here. Um, not much more to it. And I think that was kind of a, I, I think it was partially a, a projection sort of thing. And also just, a, you know, Clemson is going to be a popular team to play with. So they, they kind of gave them a little boost. But, and these, again, these ratings are subject to change. But yeah, I don't, there, there wasn't really any reason to have Colorado, uh, Clemson, or Colorado, or for Colorado. that matter, in, in the top ten. Uh, other than they're, they're popular, they would be popular teams to play with. But yeah, look, and I, I know get, Clemson gets talked about a lot because of Dabo Sweeney and you know his stance on the portal, and you know for obvious reasons that we've already uh, outlined on this channel. But Clemson being top ten, I don't think they have any business being there. Obviously, Clemson has a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball. Obviously they've recruited well on that side of the ball, but top 10 is crazy to me. Um, and that's coming from, you know, two Clemson fans. So um, now moving to the defensive side of the ball, Jordan, let's go ahead and uh, outline this list. Clemson was ranked fifth. Uh, Ohio state was one at a 96 overall. Georgia was two at a 94 overall. Oregon was three at 90. Alabama was four at 90. Clemson was five at 90 Notre Dame six at 90 number seven was Michigan at 90 overall Texas Penn State and Utah round out the top 10 so Clemson top 10 in offense top five in defense according to EA Sports uh heading into the 2024 season so Jordan thoughts about Clemson's defense being ranked a 
90 overall and ranked number fifth. Uh, I, I think that's definitely a, a more <laughs> a sensible ranking. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit where, more believable, right? Yeah, where, where Clemson was last year, they were you know top 10 in every basically every metric. You know, obviously really, really good defense and a lot of the reason why they were able to win nine games. Um, and obviously they have a lot coming back and still and a lot of young talent that, that's that's going to be stepping up. I think that's that's about right. So um, now there, there are probably some people have questions about, you know, other placements on the list and, and kind of where they fit. But I, I think top top five to ten is is, is right for, for Clemson as a pre um, as a pre uh, season sort of projection. So, yeah, but absolutely. We'll see kind of what happens. Yeah, we'll see. Look, the list are what they are. I think they're simply to generate clicks and generate conversation and generate buzz around EA Sports, uh, the college football game that's coming out on the July 19th. Um, and obviously the marketers are doing their job and creating all sorts of buzz around the game um, and constantly talking about EA and all of that stuff. So shout out to them for being good marketers and getting everyone to talk about it. And the best way to do that is to troll a bunch of college football fans with some lists and get them all up in arms and their feathers ruffled about it. So genius move by EA Sports. 